Did you see it? Because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll look to throw. He's got it. The tight end, Allen. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. But it's going to be second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll drop the throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. Pushing his way inside the 40. 20! And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And out across midfield down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back now in Nashville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for the Jags touchdown. DJ Chark. His second touchdown on the season. Hey, and the Jaguars hey. make some inroads here on that deficit. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Wide open receiver complete. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. Too far downfield. Something those linemen have to watch out for. And that time it costs them. Back to throw. Over the middle, hold in by Shark. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll look to throw here. And he completes it to Westbrook. And now a fumble. The ball's out. 
It's picked up by the Titans. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Tennessee, the win keeps them barely hanging. Installing your game plan. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got it take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Down from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a mill today and ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. With a December snow blanketing much of the Midwest and Northeast, what a perfect time to be in the Sunshine State as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. Good punt. This offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away because... Now the offense yeah, right. getting set to take over the football here early on in the game, first quarter. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. 
And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start, it comes through clean. Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. For the Buccaneers. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. He'll come out throwing here on first down. Flush to his right. That one complete to Dede Westbrook. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. The open man is Westbrook. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football as they've got it with a second and ten. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Fournette on the counter. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes a lot easier. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for the Jags touchdown. DJ Chark, his third touchdown now on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass in baseball. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. He'll drop to throw, forced out to his left, and he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll look to throw. And an alley to run. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about yeah. the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Oh. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the... And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Shaquille Barrett able to record his fifth sack of the season. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, Depp has been a constant duress this entire game. I'm not high surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. Back to throw now on first down. 
And that is incomplete. D.D. Westbrook is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 13-yard line. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. And it's caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. DJ. Yes, it oh. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. On first down, they'll drop the throw. <laughs> Looking sideline incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target, and it's second down. Just work with me a second here because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football. I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay, but now. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. William Goldston able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There was a pressure you were talking about, forcing the incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Fighting him off. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the box will get ready. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Second and 15. And now he'll tuck it and run. Big hold of the 30. And all the way up to the 35-yard line. That was a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape back. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 41 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Fournette running out of the gun. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Leonard Fournette, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. They'll set up a throw. And this is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. This is Fournette. Yeah, this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. They'll set up to throw. Open man is Westbrook complete. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback. Touchdown, Jaguars! Leonard Fournette with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year, and the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that with a lot of offenses? So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there. Good enough for a Jags first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage. Work on that clock. See if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They were trying to go back to Allen there, and that'll bring up second down. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. This quarterback now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. On the jet sweep, here's Westbrook. Credit the tackle there to Jordan Lewis. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On second down, here's Fournette. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 39. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Looking to throw. He may try and run for this. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. Is At this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Nice. Now this one over the middle and into the hands of his tight end complete. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They're going to look to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for the Jaguars, the win moves them a couple games over 500 now at 7-5. and five, And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
numbers, big numbers. Hundred minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Whole team yeah. count it, that's yeah. a big yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, foreign cars, foreign, foreign seats with the foreign leather. Yeah. Yeah. Foreign number, put the card in the ATM in the set era. Yeah, flex mode, this ain't Southwest, this is Jazz. I ain't gotta shut the cell off, cause the iPhone don't got a jet mode. If you want to come, let's go. We ain't going nowhere special. Start your week by installing your game plan. Mexican dummy pesos. Get your sons on the face those. Number save, no name, no. We need more. Tell them we need more. Put numbers on the board. Let them keep a score. Hey, 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist. Bullet points of God. Big numbers. Big numbers. 100 minute pay. Yeah, wrist man, check the wrist man, got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this man, Lord. Pass the pig skin, money stretch a distance. I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards, you just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenty.